welcome to this seventh session today uh, of this uh, Resilient Cities Forum 2021. I, I think we have heard many great ideas, uh, framework, um, technology from various uh, prominent speakers for the for, for, for these two days um, to help us to build sustainable city. I think this is a topic that is um, not new. Actually, this pandemic has took us um, um, uh, faster into into addressing this issue, uh, as 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 you have read in uh, various statistics by the world organizations. I think uh, seventy percent of the world population will be residing in cities. Uh, so this is something that uh, that, that that we need to address um, very importantly. Sharing with you today, I think what we want to share with you today is uh, how did we um, address or how did we adopt sustainable development in Sami City, Kuala Lumpur, and how do we build our city uh, to be resilient, right? Um, now, I mean, the speaker has introduced myself here, so I'll skip this. Um, if we look at the various definitions of resilient city, uh, for example, the, the, the one from World Bank, uh, which says that resilience is the ability of a system uh, to anticipate, to absorb, accommodate, or recover from the effects of hazardous events in timely and efficient manner. And, 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 and this particular principle is echoed or is adopted by various other definitions like uh, the one by OECD, uh, the one by Think City, uh, as well as United Nations Office for Disaster Risk Reduction, uh, as well as Resilient City Network. I think, I think all of us address this particular uh, Resilient City in almost the same form or manner. Um, in developing country like Malaysia, the modern day challenge of urban development require innovative, pragmatic solutions to create sustainable future. Through Sunway's vision to be Asia's model cooperation in sustainable development and innovating to enrich lives for a better tomorrow, we, we exemplify the ethos through our business and our unique built, own, and operate model evident in our smart, sustainable city throughout Malaysia. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, or the UNSDG as it's called, uh, and uh, Malaysian Shared Prosperity Vision 2030 uh, agendas that Sunway Group is fully committed to. Looking ahead, we intend to continue growing stakeholder value meaningfully and responsibly by actively contributing to our local communities, harnessing environmental sustainable technology and pursuing growth areas that leverage the strengths of Sunway Group. Now, um, looking here, uh, this is where we share with you our story of turning a wasteland to wonderland. Uh, Malaysia was one of the largest tin producers in the world, and tin mining was a major contributor to the country's economy. Sunway City, Kuala Lumpur, was built on a tin mining wasteland and is a product of outstanding rehabilitation and restoration efforts. And in this photograph, this is what you see uh, today in our Sunway City. Uh, located in just 20 minutes from the Kuala Lumpur city centre, Sunway City, Kuala Lumpur has now a built up area of more than 60 million square feet, comprising world-class facilities and attracts some 42 million visits a year. It encompasses an enviable portfolio of more than 11 thousand of residential and commercial units, in addition to multi-award winning uh, hospitality, retail, leisure, healthcare and education components. Our city are also aim to be self-sustainable through our assets such as maintaining urban forestry, rehabilitating our two lakes located in our Sunway South Key and Sunway Lagoon, via our water treatment plant, which allows water collected to be used for our commercial buildings. And launching our Sunway 
uh, seeding inspiration and leadership via knowledge. In short, we call it SILT, uh, corporate initiative to teach students to create their own uh, urban farms, as well as a tutorial of other initiatives to be a smart, sustainable city. In, a more, in our model sustainable city, being one of the largest conglomerates in Malaysia, Sunway has always sought to grow shareholder value meaningfully and responsibly by harnessing environmental uh, sustainable te technology, strengthening good governance and pursuing growth areas that leverage our collective strengths. Sunway's success is primarily due to core values and business philosophy espoused by our founder and chairman, Tan Sri Jeffrey Chia, and we are committed to environmental, social, and governance, or in short, you call it ESG policies and practices, and have on the constituent list of FTSE for Good Index since 2015. Recognizing by Bursa Malaysia as a pay setter among listed companies in Malaysia in terms of ESG compliance and disclosure. On our, on our environmental front, our flagship development, Sunway City, Kuala Lumpur, was the first to be recognized by GBI, Green Building Index Malaysia, as a green integrated township. Efficient land use and construction management. While acquiring new land bank, we focus on lands that are suitable for compact and mixed development uh, in high density urban areas to mitigate urban sprawl. Uh, transit oriented walkable developments promote car like urban mobility and encourage the use of public transportation. We also plan for mixed developments that reduce distances between places where people live learn, work and play to mitigate uh, greenhouse gas emissions. Six of our largest mixed developments are built on brownfield sites. In pursuit of our green construction, we expand our virtual design construction capabilities to seven dimension, adopt green construction methods uh, such as IBS and system formworks, as well as source for green building uh, materials. Uh, in our construction. Summit City Kuala Lumpur is recognized by Selangor Town and Country Planning de Development as an inclusive development. In, uh, we also perform conservation and rehabilitation efforts in our cities, as well as urban farming. Um, green spaces, recycle waste, reduce uh, mileage on food transportation, provide employment and prevent erosion and act as a natural carbon secretion system, thus building resilient cities. In green lungs, uh, in a well-planned city with first-class uh, green infrastructure, uh, is more resilient, sustainable and equitable to face strong environmental challenges posed by planet Earth. Sunway is a leader in sustainable development in Malaysia through its transformation and restoration of degraded land and planting of tree nurseries to provide green lungs for its development. Instead of clearing forested land for its developments, the diversified conglomerate uses degraded land, for example, the thriving Sami City Kuala Lumpur development occupies a formal tea mining land. And our efforts to reinforce the soil and plant larger number of trees have resulted in mini rainforest, providing Sunmi Lagoon and Sunmi Resort, for example, uh, a new ecosystem of flora and fauna, making these uh, premier destinations. And uh, in Sunmi City Kuala Lumpur alone, we have planted 30,000 trees and palms, absorbing 500. 50 tons of carbon dioxide annually. We have also planted trees ranging from 10,000 to 25,000 in other developments uh, across Malaysia. Even in efficient uh, water management, 
uh, we we do have our special initiative here. As part of Sunway's commitment to water conservation initiatives, we involve uh, we have invested 18 million ringgit in research and installation of a water treatment plant uh, to treat water from this particular lake here, which we call South Key Lake, to rehabilitate uh, uh, in a, in a rehabilitated tin mine crater. The water treatment plant is a reliable source of water that meets the consumption needs of 50,000 people, operating on a full capacity of 8.5 million litres per day. Uh, the plant assures a secure supply of clean water that meets the quality and standards of drinking water to commercial uh, assets of Kuala Lumpur city centre. Um, in During the water disruption in September 2020, that affected 1.2 million uh, consumer accounts, businesses in commercial assets in Summit City uh, were undisrupted and could operate as usual because of this uh, water treatment plant that we have in this particular city. Livability, livability is another issue that we address. As a smart, sustainable township, Summit City Kuala Lumpur features all components of livable city. Uh, stability, healthcare, culture and environment, education and infrastructure. Convenience is a key in our township. There are environmental friendly electric buses that run on elevated tracks as well as covered canopy walkway with, with, with built-in solar panels uh, connecting to various facilities and amenities. For example, in this program here that you show here, similar to BRT, uh, Sunway provides a free shuttle bus service around Sunway Integrated uh, City to improve accessibility and con connectivity, whilst also driving low carbon footfall to our businesses. This free bus runs every 25 minutes uh, from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day. Right? And uh, because of this free bus service, uh, we were able to minimize uh, grab cars uh, usage, for example, in the in the in the in the city, uh, we have about ten thousand grab car calls a day. You know, uh, with this, I think we were able to reduce uh, the 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 number of um, uh, cars running on the roads. Um, Sunway cannot be walk. It's, it's another feature within the city. Since 2010, Sunway has invested more than 20 million to construct a four kilometer elevated covered canopy walkway to improve connectivity and provide walkability among the communities of Sunway Kuala Lumpur. The roof installation with solar panels, as you can see in the roof here, to power uh, generation and fitted with power saving LED lights. In uh, a BRT Sunway line, uh, is Malaysia's first dedicated and elevated electric bus rapid transit system. It is the first uh, public-private partnership, PPP, uh, between Pasarana Malaysia Berhad and Sunway Berhad. This public transportation project serves to enhance the connectivity, accessibility and mobility of the communities in Sunway City. And it says uh, Sunway has contributed 123 million to the 634 million uh, BRT Sunway line project. <laughs> Energy management system is another area that, uh, that, that we put a lot of effort in, in our city management. Uh, energy consumption is a main contributor to carbon emission in our, in, in, in our move forward uh, decarbonization. We have introduced energy efficient uh, retrofits across all survey business units um, uh, in all our shopping malls, hotels, office buildings and so on, uh, such as LED lights replacement, chiller plant optimization, increased usage of solar energy and more. The implementation to decrease our building energy intensity has helped to reduce 40,000 tons of carbon emission, saves uh, 71,000 uh, of megawatt hour of electricity consumption, 
and we've deflected 40,000 tons of carbon emission uh, in 2019. Uh, adopting rooftop solar uh, applications and batteries. Some university consumes up to 40,000 of electricity per day. It must be seen a lot uh, that campus uh, consists of two buildings with classes uh, are built, uh, where classes are held, held, a gym, residence for students. To reduce energy consumption, the campus has installed solar panels uh, on both the buildings, alongside with uh, batteries application, <coughs> which will help to power up the campus. The university has projected that with the con combination of solar panels and batteries, it will save up to 11 million ringgit in the next 30 years. Here we have seen uh, more solar uh, panel applications uh, in Samwe Monash residence, uh, a student residence within the township, uh, Samwe Pyramid Shopping Mall, as well as Samwe Medical Center. Um, here we have seen, uh, as mentioned just now, we have also a solar panel, as you can see on the canopy walk, uh, where solar panels are also installed. And uh, it provides uh, reduced 3,000 tons of carbon dioxide uh, with all these solar panel uh, installations. <laughs> LDD light fixtures. Uh, <clears throat> all the light fixtures, fixtures in our assets owned by the group, like Mineral Sunway, Pyramid Mall, and so on. Uh, we have been converted to LED lights, which help to save uh, more energy. Uh, as, as an example, Madara Sunway successfully reduced energy consumption by 24,000 uh, kilowatt hour and carbon emission of 15 tons uh, per year because of these uh, LED lights that we have installed. Now, moving forward, since 2016, when the Jeffrey Chia Foundation uh, and the United Nations Sustainable Development Solutions Network, UNSDSN, partnership was first established. Uh, JCF has led numerous global efforts that are in line with the 17 uh, SDGs as part of the UN 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. These goals are part of a comprehensive and holistic global uh, vision towards sustainable development that aims to mend eco economic, social economic, and environmental strain afflicting uh, the world. And uh, some of these notable initiatives include our uh, uh, SDG Academy, uh, the Global Masters in uh, sustainable development practice in some university, a, a master program, as well as uh, the uh, Jeffrey Sachs Center being one of the world's five SDG centers of excellence in the world. And um, being a living laboratory is another interesting uh, element here. Summy City is a living lab and through its innovation arm, Sunway iLab, uh, we aim to foster innovations, uh, generate and incubate ideas to address the challenges uh, that facing humanity. Our flagship smart sustainable city, Sunway City Kuala Lumpur, will be the test bed where we bring together researchers, experts, and academia to generate real-world solutions for the prosperity and progress uh, of the planet. Sunway in, uh, is no stranger to digital innovation. Since 2000, uh, we have already invested more than 200 million in digitization, improving our internal processes, enhancing customer facing initiatives and business ventures. With the use of intelligent automation, we have uh, ramped up our even further to ensure uh, increased capability of efficiency. With our virtual workforce of 27 robots, which we have within the group now, across the group, uh, ranging from roles in finance uh, shared services, all the way to team parks uh, operations, uh, it frees up valuable 
time and energy for personnel to tackle higher value added uh, issues. Uh, in being a smart city, disrupting conventional and conventional uh, real estate markets through the use of artificial intelligence, blockchain, and Internet of Things to reimagine re and transform the use of space. Through technology and new innovations, we aim to build sustainable cities uh, which are smarter and healthier while improving consumers' convenience, uh, connectivity, and quality of life. In every food technology is also another interesting point here. Uh, here in Sunway, we have launched our Future X Farm, an urban farm innovation hub for urban farming professionals. Uh, tech companies, researchers, and young talents to collaborate and create uh, transformative solutions focused on food and uh, agri-tech. FutureX uh, Farm focuses on delivery of four key objectives, that is to nourish, to educate, to empower, uh, and to innovate. In uh, education technology, in edutech uh, edu is another area. Uh, complementing the education landscape through impact-driven teaching and learning tools uh, to disrupt the traditional education system by providing peer-to-peer -peer, uh, gamification, problem-solving, hands-on learning on our campus. In uh, Sunway Future X, uh, Ellen, for example, we have collaborated with France Base 42, resulting in the setting up of 42KL a coding school in Malaysia. It will be housed in this uh, Sunway Future X building as part of its Future X talents. Uh, 42 operates on a very unique model uh, that touts zero tuition fee, zero teaching, zero traditional classrooms. It offers peer-to-peer -peer learning and it's completely merit-based. Uh, the only application required is that student uh, must be 18 years of age, uh, focusing project based on learning, initiating real world work, uh, that school encourage students to learn more, time management, build conceptual framework that can be applied to industry challenges and uh, platforms uh, statements and problem statements. In healthcare as well, right? Uh, we have uh, health technology. Uh, supporting healthcare organization, uh, organizations to enhance the efficiency of healthcare, delivery through personalized, efficient, and cutting edge uh, medical solutions, harnessing the power of data in depth analysis. We are also looking at uh, to solve problems related to preventive uh, health conditions such as non communicable diseases and, start, and uh, deep tech uh, in healthcare. Uh, in, in our COVID-19 uh, uh, works as, uh, for example, uh, Sunway Medical and Sunway Eye Labs have built uh, a contactless con COVID-19 testing port, as what you can see in the, in the picture here. Uh, uh, allowing healthcare workers in Malaysia to conduct testing for suspected cases in safer and more efficient uh, manner. The success of this project has been made possible due to the collaborative uh, efforts of various components and resources available at Summit City Kuala Lumpur. A living lab with a thriving ecosystem where ideas are developed and turned into sustainable solutions. Even in e-commerce, empowering businesses to adopt e-commerce and digital solutions uh, for, to foster growth um, to, to reach new markets and to explore additional revenue streams. Together with our partners, we aim to build a holistic ecosystem by providing innovative solutions such as uh, O2O enablers, logistics, omnichannel marketing, uh, payment and security. For example, the Alibaba Global E-Commerce Talent Program, uh, where Sunway iLab plays a role in mentoring the students on their e-commerce startup projects and also connecting them to uh, e uh, the, uh, the ecosystem. And uh, in the e-commerce jumpstart program, 
the e-commerce jumpstart uh, program aims to help retail SMEs and entrepreneurs on their digital transformation journey to weather through the economic downturn uh, that we face using a structured curriculum and mentorship with digital experts at no charge. And it is free four week training program for SME and retail entrepreneurs to help their businesses get to get online. So in conclusion, uh, I think what we want to share today is from a city perspective, we want to create resilient and uh, thriving communities where everyone can live, learn, work, play in healthy and a connected environment. For example, in Detroit, uh, Detroit's over-reliance on automotive sector as an economic engine, where they are called the auto city, made it vulnerable to financial crisis. Diversification of economic sectors is vital for cities to be resilient. Uh, at Sunway City, Kuala Lumpur, uh, with education, medical, healthcare, and others as anchors, it helps Sunway City, Kuala Lumpur to be a recession proof as uh, possible and stay relevant um, going forward. Right, so with that, I end my presentation today. Um, and I would be glad to take uh, any particular question. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Chang, for you know walking us through on um, the current plan that Sanwe has actually, and we do have a few questions in the pipeline already actually, as they are very interested uh, with your presentation. So we do have one coming from Zhu Kifli uh, from Might actually, he's a program director at Might. Um, the question begins with how long does Sanwe takes up uh, takes to fill up and transform the team mind. And does Sunway have the measure or indicator of your GHG reduction based on your projects done? So that's two parts of the question there. Yeah, uh, yeah, the two parts of the question. I mean, um, to transform the teen mind to what we see today, um, that took us about 30 over years uh, mm -hmm. from where it started until until what you see today. But of course, in, in our in our city planning, uh, to turn it into a sustainable uh, development, a sustainable city, uh, I think it is a continuous journey uh, that, 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 that we see uh, as a means to an end rather than an end in a, um, of, 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 the, of the journey. Uh, because technology changes, um, you know, uh, market demand changes, so this is something that we need to keep evolving uh, and adopting the best available technology in order to keep our city uh, livable, you know, uh, fulfilling the, the, the needs of various stakeholders within the city. Um, I mean, to, to measure the, the second part of the question, to, to, to measure uh, um, 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 whatever that we need to do, uh, we, we have, we have started uh, data collection as well as uh, various matrices to, to, to measure uh, our um, uh, usage of energy, for example, um, energy index, uh, carbon emission is something that we are beginning to, 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 to measure uh, using various um, uh, guidelines, for example, GRI, and we are also one of the first corporation in Malaysia also to adopt uh, TCFD, the, 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 the carbon uh, uh, index, you know, uh, as, as, our, as, our, as our measurement towards uh, measuring our progress in, in this particular area. Yeah, so this is something is an, on, is an ongoing process. Yes, we are, we are developing our baselines and metrics to, 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 to provide us a, a barometer as to where we are heading. All right. Well, thank you so much for that. Um, I hope it answers your question, uh, Mr. Zulkifli. And the next question that we have over here is coming from Atira Tan. Um, she's coming from the Innovation and Industry Development from Cyberview, actually. Were there any solutions from the programs that have contributed into Sunway City to be resilient? 
Yeah, I mean, as 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 I presented just now, I think the resilience uh, is covered by by various uh, measures, right? Uh, for example, uh, diversification is is one area. Uh, resilient in terms of um, uh, being able to provide to 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 meet the various uh, uh, water security, for example, is is, is another area. Uh, you know, um, uh, uh, providing um, uh, green spaces, uh, e-commerce, education, healthcare, and so on. So, so I think resilience is something that we that that, that we try to address in in various angles, so that uh, the various stakeholders within within the city. Uh, with different objectives and different purposes uh, in their daily lives, you know they, they are provided with the uh, all the infrastructure as well as opportunities uh, to be resilient. Uh, I think I think that's that is what we are trying to to address, right? So adopting the uh, seventeen SDGs is, is is one good indicator because uh, that is uh, by far. Uh, still one of the most holistic way of addressing a uh, very balanced uh, sustainable development looking at social economic education uh, health and uh, various needs of, uh, of the of the of the whole community right so so that is what we are trying to um, share here you know uh, that resilience is not only uh, in any specific angle but holistically uh, covering all aspects of our daily lives. Well, perfect. Thank you for that answer, uh, Mr. Cheng. And perhaps uh, one more question uh, coming from the audience, right? You mentioned about water shortage. How do you overcome larger local government issues as a city? Like, is there a method to foresee shortcomings? <laughs> well, uh, this this is a very um, um, uh, a, a big pro uh, is a problem that that all of us have to manage in the community. I mean, what what we're able to do is only within our own particular township, right? Because we have the benefit of uh, of of uh, our disused mining uh, pools that we can uh, that we have turned into uh, lakes, you know. Um, other than using it as a recreational park. Right, uh, we have got the support from the uh, the relevant governments as well as the uh, government agencies to to allow us, you know, to to to, to use that um, to uh, produce uh, water for our commercial establishments. Only our commercial buildings within our township. Uh, of course, this will help in a bigger, uh, uh, bigger, bigger, bigger. Um, uh, picture uh, because by 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 us being self-sufficient within our township that also relieves the pressure on the uh, water supply system uh, in the local uh, in the local government all right so that uh, they can then have water resources and the water to provide to other developments uh, that, that that are also in need of such a uh, water supply so in a way, yes, uh, what we do here, uh, the, hopefully it, it also does help uh, in the bigger uh, picture, right? Uh, but, uh, but, but very much, I think this is again uh, an effort. I think, I think what we want to project here is, is a collective effort. If everyone uh, start to adopt uh, various measures to conserve and recycle water, for example, starting with very, very simple uh, initiatives like uh, reducing water consumption. All right? uh, I think Malaysia is known to be uh, one of the highest uh, water consuming uh, community all right? compared to uh, the uh, water consumption data per capita. Uh, if, we, if we do that, if we, if we start to reduce, if we start to reuse, as well as we start to uh, harness uh, you know, uh, rainwater harvesting initiatives. Uh, again, we are in uh, a tropical country uh, where we have a lot of rainfall. So if we are able to harness uh, our rainwater as what we do in our buildings in the Summit City, I think all these initiatives will definitely help the Malaysian government 
uh, as well as our community in conserving our water and uh, preserving our water security in our community. 